and welcome back. I'm having tripod issues. <laughs> but I'm actually going to be sharing this highlight of this video or the, the center stage of this video with Eva here via Instagram. So I'm not going to worry too much about the angle of this video. It's kind of weird though, isn't it? Okay. I could hold it up again, so let's do that. Oh, tripod hell. All right, so I'm sharing a lot of tools this week, actually today, um, that I've started to use online, um, and I'm highlighting specific ones. I did a YouTube video, I did in a word of the day Twitter video, and now I want to do something on Instagram. Instagram's not sticking too much with me. It's just, there's some very interesting stuff on there. I just can't find as much of what I want. It doesn't, it just doesn't draw me in as much as uh, as Twitter does. Tumblr has some very cool stuff also, but I just don't find myself being pulled in as much, except for my gal Eva. Oh my goodness, I love what she's doing with the language. Let me show you. Now I do have a disclaimer. I just realized that, and I had a feeling this would happen, I do realize that um, Eva, the girl I'm going to show you the videos of, she is from Taiwan. So I really wonder if this is a good idea for me to be listening to this. The sound and the script is going to be different. They use the traditional Chinese characters in Taiwan, whereas in China we use the simplified, and I wonder if the pronunciation is going to be as super different. So um, I guess there's a partial question in this, in that, is this a bad idea for me to be following and practicing with Eva? I don't know. I think, my, I think because, as I'm going to show you, she shows the Hanzi. That doesn't look that different. Anyway, she shows the Hanzi and the pinyin, I wonder if it would be bad for me to do this. I don't know. If you have an idea on if this is a bad idea for me to do as someone learning Chinese in China who doesn't really have a desire to learn traditional uh, Hanzi, then um, by all means, please chime in. But I do want to share with you her videos because she's doing something that I'm not seeing a lot of people do in this micro burst kind of learning form. So let me show you Eva. Come on, tripod, you can do it tripod. It's cell phone on cell phone fun here. All right. And we have to click this. I won't. I Okay. I want a cup of coffee. I want a cup of coffee. Okay. Repeat after me. I want a cup of coffee. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Eva. Today, we're going to learn I won't. Okay. And, well, <laughs> and as you can see, as you're on that page or whatever it's called in Instagram, it just keeps looping around until you shut it off. And so what I love that for pronunciation practice, because I will literally just sit here, like I'm, I'm staring at it right now, and I'll say, I'm looking at the opinion, wo, wo, yao. Whoa, yeah. See, that's the, the exact same. There's no difference there. Whoa, yeah. Yi bei cafe. Oh, those are all flat tones. I'm too, I'm doing it totally wrong. But if I turn the sound on. Whoa, yi bei cafe. I want to do it again. So I'll sit here and I'll look at it and I'll just repeat. Whoa, yeah. I want. Whoa, yeah. And I know my tones are crap. I understand that. But having little bits of language like this, just repeat, repeat, repeat. And especially, you know my obsession with coffee? When I saw this one, I was like, that's when I started following Eva. And I was like, you're doing practical language I could actually use with speaking, which I don't even really care about, but now you're making me care because now I can go into a cafe and do more than just say eBay and point. I mean, what do you, how do you resist that? How do you resist Eva? I mean, what she's doing on Instagram is awesome. I love this kind of smaller language bit by bit by bit, similar to the word of the day, but it's a phrase and it's got the audio with the face. And let's face it, communication, our language is communication. Communication happens in many different forms, but some of the most effective communication happens when somebody's sitting right in front of you. Let's get meta, right? Okay, so <laughs> there's so many ideas that just ran through my head as I said that. As I'm staring at you, wherever you are, as you're watching this on a computer or on a mobile phone or what have you, I mean, 
I just love it. I just absolutely love these little, again, microburst learning sessions. Absolutely adore it. I don't know many other ones like this. I haven't seen a lot of these. I've seen some, let me, let me rephrase that. I've seen some on Twitter, but they've been longer exchanges and it hasn't been as much of the repeat feature. What's nice about Instagram and Tumblr is they'll take a video and as soon as you hit like sound or play, it'll just play over and over and over until you either stream past it or until you stop it. And that, for language practice, is brilliant because you just hit it once and then you just practice until you're done. So that is an advantage of this kind of video being on Instagram or Tumblr. Although, having said that, I don't remember seeing a lot of these kinds of videos on Tumblr. I'm not seeing a lot of these videos, period, that are this simple and this clear and this useful. So if you know any videos like, like Eva's doing here, um, especially if it's someone from China who's doing simplified Chinese, by all means, leave a comment in the link below. I want to follow them. <laughs> I love this kind of practice. Love it, love it, love it. And also, if you, especially looking at this video, or if you want to hop on Instagram and look at her, her different videos, do you think I'll have a problem if I'm practicing what she's doing and try to use it in China? From that example, it doesn't seem very different. Um, but I wonder if it gets more complex as we go, if there's going to be enough differences that would cause problems. I don't know. I mean, right now, I, I can barely say the basics, um, even locally, anything. <laughs> without visuals, Leo, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that it would be a problem for a while. I don't know if it would be a problem, period. She might be doing standard Mandarin. I really don't know enough about it. I didn't realize she was um, from Taiwan until this morning when I went to prepare for this and said, oh, boy, that I generally am a little more careful when I find Chinese language resources because I don't want to confuse traditional and simplified. But I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to look more. Maybe I'll send her a message and ask her if she's using traditional in her in the in the the text on her screen on her videos. But regardless of all that, uh, I love videos like this. I strongly suggest videos like this. And if you are learning, if you're going to Taiwan, um, I strongly suggest following Eva and practicing that way because she's got some really good functional language in a way that I think is really super great to practice. Thank you very much. Until next time, bye-bye.